In the shadow of Geneva, beneath the Earth's surface, lies a marvel of human ingenuity and a potential harbinger of doom. The Large Hadron Collider. It is a beacon of scientific exploration, allowing scientists to peer into the subatomic world and finally leading to the discovery of the enigmatic God particle years ago. But now, renowned physicist Brian Cox has recently made a chilling announcement that sent shockwaves throughout the scientific community. Something alarming has been detected at CERN, something that could have consequences far beyond our understanding. Has our quest for knowledge set us on a collision course with catastrophe? Join us as we delve into the abyss of this scientific enigma. But before we dive into the announcement, it's important to understand what particle accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets and the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It presents the pinnacle of human scientific achievement. In fact, it's so powerful that it can recreate the very conditions of the universe's birth. But could this machine, designed to unlock the secrets of the universe, hold the key to something far more ominous? CERN, founded in 1954, is one of the world's most prestigious research organizations, with 23 member states and thousands of scientists. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it's just one part of a vast network of accelerators and experiments. Imagine a racetrack, but not for cars or horses. This track is for subatomic particles, a race against time and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. The collisions create temperatures a million times hotter than the core of the sun. Thousands of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while intricate cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. These include 1232 dipole magnets, which bend the beams, and 392 quadruple magnets, which focus the beams just prior to collision. Another type of magnet is used to squeeze the particles closer together to increase the chances of collisions. The task of making them collide is akin to firing two needles six millimeters apart with such precision that they meet halfway. The technology required is unparalleled. The LHC's design is a marvel of engineering. It consists of two adjacent parallel beam lines lying hidden 574 feet below the surface, shielded from the Earth's radiation. In this subterranean world, the entire system is cooled to a temperature of minus 456.6 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than the vacuum of space itself. This frigid environment is essential for the superconducting magnets to function optimally. The beams inside the LHC are made to collide at four locations around the accelerator ring corresponding to the positions of four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a unique purpose, exploring different aspects of particle physics. Together, they act as colossal cameras capturing snapshots of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris, looking for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other phenomena crucial to the universe's fundamental building blocks. By studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. But with every answer comes a new question, and with every discovery, a new challenge. The LHC is not just a scientific instrument. It's a testament to human curiosity and innovation. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. But as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of probing the unknown? Could our quest for understanding inadvertently unlock forces we cannot control? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the boundaries of human understanding are constantly pushed, a revelation has emerged that sends a shiver down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and a voice of authority in the world of particle physics, has recently made an announcement that has left the world both fascinated and fearful. Cox's words resonate with haunting clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a mini Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist also went on to explain the implications of this goal highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for making new discoveries. 
This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and the exploration of dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to conjure the very essence of the universe. It is a tantalizing prospect, but one fraught with danger. The mini Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept. It is a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy, all mimic the conditions of the universe's infancy. It's like standing at the dawn of time, witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms large. What if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go terribly wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a disaster that would forever alter the course of his life. Dead in 1978, Bugorsky was working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Pradvino, Russia, when a malfunction led to a catastrophic accident. His head accidentally came into the direct path of a proton beam with a force that defied comprehension. The beam passed through his skull, entering at the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Bugorsky's experience was otherworldly. He saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns but felt no pain. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning through tissue and bone. Yet astonishingly, Bugorsky remained conscious and even walked to the clinic for treatment. The aftermath was both horrifying and fascinating. The beam's path caused localized tissue death, leading to the loss of hearing in one ear and partial facial paralysis. However, Bugorsky's intellectual capabilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not just a personal tragedy, but a cautionary tale that underscores the immense power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of a particle accelerator like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The potential for unforeseen reactions, the manipulation of the very fabric of space and time, these are not the stuff of science fiction but real concerns voiced by some in the scientific community. The universe's secrets are not just mere toys but instruments of tremendous power. One of the most alarming concerns associated with the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, enigmatic entities that lurk in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such an entity, even on a microscopic scale, is shocking for the general public and experts alike. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, swallowing the Earth from within? Though scientists at CERN have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and evaporate almost instantly, predicted by Stephen Hawking's theory of Hawking radiation, the mere possibility has ignited debates, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. It's important to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it warps the fabric of spacetime itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched taut and then a heavy weight dropped onto it. The fabric bends, curves, and if the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. That's a simplistic metaphor for what could happen in the LHC. In the world of quantum physics, where the rules of the universe are both bizarre and beautiful, there exists a theory that extra dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could tap into them, creating a gravitational funnel that forms a microscopic black hole. This enigmatic dance of particles has caught the attention of some world-famous scientists, particularly the late Stephen Hawking. In his book, A Brief History of Time, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at very high energy levels. This instability could lead to a catastrophic vacuum decay, a cosmic event that would not only destroy the Earth but the entire universe itself. Sir Martin Rees, the esteemed British cosmologist and astrophysicist, also expressed concerns about the experiments conducted at CERN in his book on the future prospects for humanity. He explored the potential risks associated with particle accelerator experiments including those at CERN. His words were not merely cautionary. They were tinged with a sense of existential dread. He spoke of a worst-case scenario where an ill-fated experiment could create a condition called vacuum instability. This instability could, in theory, trigger a phase transition that would ripple through the very fabric of space-time, 
resulting in a cosmic catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. Rees's concerns were not limited to theoretical musings. He assigned a probability to these catastrophic outcomes, albeit a low one. But even a minuscule chance, he argued, should give us pause. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The scientists at CERN have calculated the probabilities, run the simulations, and examined the theories to argue for the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of responsible exploration. Recognizing the widespread fears and concerns surrounding the activities of the LHC, he emphasized that there are rigorous safety measures in place, extensive reviews, and protocols that ensure the LHC's operations are conducted with the utmost care. Cox reassured that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally encounters, and the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were created, scientists say it would be so tiny and so unstable that it would evaporate in a flash of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking known as Hawking radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of cosmic wonder, a glimpse into the abyss, and then gone. Some have gone further, speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe. Though this notion is largely dismissed by the scientific community, it has captured the imagination of many and has become a subject of fascination, fear, and even folklore. What lies beyond our reality? Could we inadvertently unleash forces or entities that we do not understand? The idea of opening a portal to hell has even been sensationalized in various media, adding fuel to the fire of uncertainty. But how did this idea come to be, and what does it mean in the context of scientific exploration? The concept of parallel dimensions is not new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, posits that there may be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, but they could theoretically be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions. Now, imagine the LHC as a cosmic key, unlocking doors that have been sealed since the dawn of time. When protons collide at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in theory, create ripples or tears in the fabric of space-time. These tears might open pathways to dimensions beyond our own, like cracks in a cosmic wall that separates us from the unknown. The consequences would be similar to dropping a stone into a perfectly serene lake. The impact creates ripples, waves that spread out, interacting with everything they touch. In the context of the LHC, those ripples could be disturbances in the dimensions themselves, waves that spread out into realms we cannot see or comprehend. Scientists at CERN are quick to point out that the energies required to create such a portal are likely far beyond what the LHC can achieve. The idea of opening a gateway to another dimension remains firmly in the realm of science fiction. But the very fact that we can contemplate such possibilities, that we can explore the boundaries of our understanding and peer into the abyss of the unknown, is a testament to the power of human curiosity and ingenuity. For the scientists at CERN, it serves as a silent warning that some doors, once opened, may reveal truths we are not prepared to face. The LHC's experiments have not only raised scientific and philosophical questions, but legal and ethical ones as well. The very act of recreating the conditions of the universe's birth, of reaching into the primordial soup of existence and stirring it with our technological spoons, has ignited debates that transcend the boundaries of science. Are we playing God? Are we treading on sacred ground, meddling with forces that were once the sole province of the cosmos? These are not merely rhetorical questions, but deeply unsettling inquiries that challenge our very understanding of ethics and responsibility. The creation of a miniature black hole, for instance, is not just a scientific curiosity, but a potential Pandora's box, a whirlpool sucking everything into its inescapable grasp, but on a cosmic scale. Some legal scholars and ethicists have questioned whether humanity has the right to take such risks, even in the pursuit of knowledge. Lawsuits have been filed seeking to halt the LHC's experiments, citing concerns about safety and the potential for catastrophic outcomes. The debates rage on, not just in courtrooms but in the halls of academia, in the media, and around dinner tables. In 2008, a lawsuit was filed in Hawaii by Walter L., Wagner and Luis Sancho, who sought to halt the LHC's operations. 
They argued that the collider might produce planet-devouring black holes or other unseen phenomena that could destroy not only the Earth but the entire universe. The lawsuit demanded a temporary restraining order against CERN, contending that the organization had failed to provide an environmental impact statement as required by U.S. law. Though the case was dismissed, it ignited a firestorm of debate and brought the LHC's potential risks into sharp focus. Across the Atlantic, in Germany, a teacher named Otto Rossler filed a complaint with the European Court of Human Rights, alleging that the LHC violated the right to life guaranteed by the European Convention on Human Rights. Rossler's concerns were rooted in the fear that the LHC could create microscopic black holes that might grow uncontrollably. Although both lawsuits were unsuccessful, they formed part of a broader movement of concern and skepticism surrounding the LHC. They reflected a deep-seated anxiety about the unknown, a fear that our pursuit of knowledge might lead us down a path from which there is no return.